In this video, we'll see how to concatenate audio files using Unreal 4. It is not as simple as it seems, since the Unreal 4 audio system is not sample accurate. So if you want to stitch together audio files with precise timing, you can't simply use a concatenator node inside your sound queue. With that said, let's move to Unreal and see how to do it. I think we could start by listening why we can't use a concatenator as a solution. So let's connect these two um, audio files to a concatenator and finally straight to the output. So let's have a listen. As you've heard, there was a big pause in between the two audio files. That's because a concatenator needs a certain amount of time to load the second audio file and play it back. So let's get rid of it and see how can we find a good solution. We want the first audio file to be a one-shot audio file, while the second one should be looping. We connect the second one to a enveloper and then the two audio file to a mixer. The idea behind this technique is that we want both audio files to play simultaneously, but when the first one will stop after a defined amount of time, that's because it's a one shot audio file, will fade in in a very short amount of time the second one. To do so, we use an enveloper, so let's check loop indefinitely and loop. Then double click in the curve volume preview to see the internal curve editor. If you want to know more about envelopes, uh, I suggest you a video I made about it. You can find it both on top here and in the video description. Now we need to place two more keys, so shift and click. The first one should be at time zero value 0 0.001, while the last one should be at the very end of the first audio file. So to retrieve this information, we can click inside a wave player, double click in the waveform icon. Under developer duration, right click and copy. Now we can select the third point and paste the time inside its uh, time box. The middle point should be very, very close to the last one. So we can copy uh, the first audio file duration here as well and delete these few decimal numbers. Make sure that its amplitude is set to 0.001. Now, because we have set loop indefinitely to true, the enveloper will keep looping using the last amplitude value we have specified. Now we can play the sound cue and have a listen to the final result. Hopefully this video was helpful for you, if so, I invite you to give a like and subscribe to the channel. With that said, as always, thank you for watching and see you in the next one.